So on my left here, all right, so six o'clock and 12 o'clock, anything that happened here is like seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Anything that happens here, five, four, you know, three, two, one. You guys follow me there? So you go to a seven o'clock to a six o'clock or to a eight o'clock to six o'clock. Let's say you create this pattern. And all you do is go back and forth on this two. So here you start with your actual head a little bit. Here I go here, he's telling the whole engage more. Yeah, here, and let's say here, I just want to create the pattern of the circle. Okay? So I'm using my elbows here to detach. And I only all I go is uh, to eight o'clock. Because here I know he's gonna fire up. Okay, and I go back here again. Whoop, when I see what happened here. When I went back to six o'clock, I felt he wanted to follow me. When I switched back to eight o'clock, I passed. Now, if I was to pass at once here, he was geared up to fight. So I got my chair heads, I got the position here. Okay, I'm doing the pass, hold on the pass, please. Yeah, look, so here, all I do, I go here. When I switch, do you see what happened there? I kind of like, on the switch, when I go back and forth, his leg stays behind after I do my second switch. Can you guys follow me there? Now, there's something that has to happen on the stabilization part. He starts to go and move me over and this and that. But I'm just talking about beating the guy's legs with a pattern. Are you guys okay with that? The first pattern you had was a methodical one. You went low and you tried to pass. You did the knee right. He didn't give it to you. Level two with the other hooks. Or going back to level one again. This one is more of a mobility pattern. You kind of use that to bait the guy and you go halfway back and forth on your second switch. Did you see how your leg this time was behind my leg? So that's what you have to create a pattern to kill the guy's legs. Because most guys, tell me, if you pass the guard, do you try to just go and you keep going? Well, sometimes you can switch and go to the other side. But when you go against a guy who is a good, you know, has a good guard, what happens? The guy that has inverted guard, man, he's gonna follow. You go that way, he's gonna follow to the end of the world. Eddie Bravo putting all his uh, legs behind his feet, I mean, his feet behind his head. I mean, how are you gonna pass a guy like that? So you could create a pattern. Eight o'clock, six o'clock. 8 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Now, I'm not even talking about when you switch sides, which makes it even more fun. Or when you increase the circle. You try to go 11 o'clock, and then you come back. So you can kind of make it larger. Like here, for instance, I'm here. Yeah, most of you here, yeah. If you're blocking, I'm gonna go, try to go 9 o'clock. Stop me there, please. You see how I go as far as I can there. You stop me there. When I go back here, it's very easy to fit because what happens, he has to stretch his leg more. And when I come back to the middle, instead of going back and forth, I already got either level one or level two pass secured. You guys following that? So if you want to bait the guy now, whether for you to do the pass just with that half circle pattern, okay, eight to six, is that clear for you to understand? This language, do you understand the beauty of jujitsu that when you have a language that you understand visually, I have a clock, I say eight o'clock, nine o'clock, I don't have to tell you what pass you're going to do. You're just going to walk until you hit the time. Are you guys cool with that? Okay, TRX. So I'm fighting here. I spin my hands. See, that's how you catch. Move a little bit. My hands are spinning. Look, I'm catching. I'm going 8 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock. I push a little bit. Man, doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look simple? Now, it's not, you're not the solution to all your problems, because sometimes you guys are going to catch up. Okay, I couldn't do that much. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and spin. I'm gonna go and try to go all the way to 10 o'clock. Don't move. So, seven, eight, nine, 10. He's gonna have to stop me before I get to 10, because if he doesn't, I, I may pass. The guy doesn't do anything, pass. So, TRX, I'm spinning, he's engaging. And here, I'm trying to move, don't let me. Don't let me, don't stop me, hold me up. Okay, here, I try to create separation. Now, if he holds my foot, all I need to do is kick my leg here, hold tight. So here, I kick my leg in, over here, no problem. I go back again. He's too worried about the foot. He forgot about his guard. Do you see that? <laughs> so you, even if you get stuck, just by getting the pattern, you can still mess the guy up. Does that make sense? Go back one step. Now if I want to add pressure, over here, I go here, and then my third arm is my head. So when I'm here, instead of passing there, I pass here. See what I'm saying? So here right now, he has to do with my head. So that makes it so easy for me to go here and there, look. 
And when he and Aaron look, how did he do? He right now looks like that's the garden without any effort. So you lower a little bit and add the hand as your third arm. You guys cool with that? So there are three things you're gonna do. Six to eight, eight to six, and then you pass. Uh, six to nine, when you come back, set up the knee to drop, okay? And the third, third one, you're gonna go uh, six to eight, but you're gonna use your head as your third spot, and you're gonna move just barely, eight to seven, seven to eight, and then drop in. Are you guys cool with that? Yeah, put your hand on the guy's shoulder or in the middle of the body. You guys cool? One, two, three, up.